Right, now today is the next instalment into Shroud of the Avatar. I thought we would talk about um, the carcasses and butchery. So we start the game in Owl's Head in the marketplace and the first thing you'll need to do as a new player is get the recipes that might not be in your recipe book. We'll just bring up the recipe book. This is where all of your recipes are kept. So if we look at the cooking, we go through all the various components. have to be learnt. So, but the one we were looking at was butchery. And some of these will already be in the list, but some you'll have to learn. Now where to find those is just in the shop in here. And if you talk with Edna, you'll bring up all the recipes. This trader in this shop deals mostly with food. Now if you use the filter and type in the word meat it will limit the number of choices that you can see there. The ones that you should really start off with is the bear meat, chicken meat, rabbit meat and the wolf meat. You can buy as many as you like but you're rather short in money in the game when you start so if you haven't got enough definitely buy the mutton, the rabbit, the wolf and the chicken um, because those are the most common types of animals that you'll come across. These other ones that you see over here are in the higher, higher areas of the game. So once you've got those you just sign for exchange if you've got enough money. If not, just start off with the chicken meat and the mutton meat and in owl's head you'll see chickens and sheep. You start killing those, butchering those, selling the items, then you'll have the money to get the rest of the recipes. And once you've got those, you'll need the carcasses. So we'll just come out here, and it looks like somebody's killed all the chickens. So, we'll just show you where the carcasses come from. Here we have a group of sheep. So we'll just go into combat. Combat. I'll switch my deck. There we go. Now for some reason, they don't mind you killing the sheep, at least at the moment. They don't take anything to kill. I could kill them all, but for these purpose we'll only need one. So I'm going to skin the sheep. Two clicks. Now he's finished, you'll see you've got sheep carcass. So we'll take that. The next thing to do is to find the butchery station. Now they can be found in various places. Normally 
in these kind of places, which are the crafting stations. But in Owl's Head, it's not here. But in Owl's Head, it's actually just around the corner. So if you come into this place here, which is the College Arms, where you find two bankers. And if you go upstairs, and in this room here, you will find the cooking station and the butchery station. Today, we're looking at the butchery. You can notice it's easily the butchery station, lots of blood on it. If you two clicks on the butchery station, opens up crafting into that section recipes you've learnt are on the left hand side. Now the value of carcasses we've got at the moment so I can show you the total or the benefit of butchering is 8, 18, 30, 46 in total. So if we take, let's get the first one on the list, the chicken, its value is 2, and another thing which we need to look at, as you can see, I've got a broken cleaver, so we've got to go and get a cleaver, which I forgot to get. But that's not a problem, it's just a bit of a walk. All of your crafting needs are met by the crafting goods merchant. Similar to the adventuring trainer, he will teach you all the advanced um, crafting skills that there are in the game. Some of them haven't been fleshed out yet. So, but blacksmithing has been done, carpentry has been done, cooking. This came in. R38, so that was recently done. Of course, we've got some tailoring, but there's lots of things still to come in the game, which we'll look forward to. Now, we go back to the butchery station. Nice little jog, keeping him fit. Just to drop it up there, 
and say yes and now we have an equipped tool so we'll go back to the chicken value of two and if we craft it the meat has come out and it's now a value of, of three so it's increased in value another thing that's happened is the tool has been worn by one and that was the reason why we needed to buy another one now if we double click again if you want to do more you can do up to the value you can do and maximum value of 20 per session so we can craft that then that will just keep on doing all three so you don't get repetitive strain injury out one again and now you'll see what we had before let me just 
just tally this up. Plus 12, plus 4, plus 40, plus 15. Plus 30. Now, the sum we had before, if we were to sell that, we would get about 105 gold. So you can see the value of using the butchery station. So if you are just starting the game and you really need money, all you need to do is come into Owl's Head, kill, the, kill these sheep here, take those carcasses, come up here, kill these chickens, you can even kill a cow, and finally you can kill skin the sheep. That gives you some carcasses which you can then go and butchery, sell the items and then repeat all over again until you've got enough money to get all of the skills that you need in the game. The final thing is these three traders are where you'll get 90% of all the recipes in the game. Norman mostly does wood-based spells and mining. He's looking down through his list quickly. Then you have Harold here does cloth magic items. They don't do all of the recipes, but they do about 90% of what's in the game at the moment. And finally, as we started with, Edna does mostly cookery and some gems and items like that. So this is where you'll find most of your crafting recipes from. The advanced ones, just look in the forums, ask the players, they'll tell you where you need to go. I hope that has been a good informative session. Any questions, please do comment below. Please do like and subscribe and follow so you can see more material as I come out with it. And thanks for watching.